Hello and welcome to Tasty City. Today on the menu, I'll be showing you two methods to cook corn moi moi using the oven method and the cooker top. This corn moi moi tasted so delicious. So if you're interested to see the cooking process, keep watching and please don't forget to click the like button. So let's get started. Here are my list of ingredients and for this recipe, I'll be using 10 pieces of fresh sweet corns. In here, I've got half cup of white maize meal. You can also use the yellow one, it doesn't really matter. And this is just for texture because the corn we have over here is very watery, unlike the one we have back home. Yeah, so for that reason, I'll be adding half cup of maize meal. You can go up to one cup, but I just don't want a lot of this maize meal in this boy moi. And if you're watching from Nigeria, you can skip this. For my protein, I'll be using dry fish. You can also use dry prawns. And in case you are wondering, this is smoked dry stripped catfish fillets. In here, I've got half cup of blended crayfish. Here with me, I've got one red onion bulb, half red long sweet pepper, and one scotch bonnet pepper. Here I've got half cup of palm oil, seasoning cube and some salt to taste. To begin, I'll start by breaking my dry fish into little pieces. Just like this. So once I'm done, I'm going to pour in a little bit of hot boiled water to the dry fish to soften it a bit while I go prepare the corn for blending. The next step is to peel the husk out of the corn and once I'm done, I'll go give it a good wash and I'll shave the corn out of the cob. Alright guys, so I'm done washing. At this point, we are going to be shaving out the corn for blending. Okay guys, so I'm done and here is the whole corn. So now we are going to move over to cut the pepper and onions and then we'll move over to the blending process. So now we are ready to blend. I've got half of the corn, the pepper and onion in the blender. I'm gonna be blending twice. Yeah, so to that I'll be adding half cup of water. We are going to be using one cup of water, half to blend the first batch and the other half to blend the second batch. 
please do not add a lot of water to this recipe otherwise you will come out with a very watery um, corn moi moi so next I'm going to throw in one seasoning cube and I'll reserve the rest for the second batch I'm not going to be blending this very smooth like the way we blend our beans for moi moi yeah so I'm gonna be blending roughly so it's up to you how you want yours to be if very smooth or roughly blended Here goes the first batch, the second batch, so we are done blending, yeah, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water to rinse out the remaining um, content in the blender. To begin the mixing process, first of all, I'll add in my half cup of maize meal, mix that in until it is well incorporated. Once that process is completed, I'll add in the dry fish, including the stock, the crayfish, salt to taste, the palm oil, and I'll give it a good mix until it is well incorporated. So notice I did not add any spices here. I only used seasoning cubes, crayfish and dry fish and that is because I don't want any spices to interfere with the taste of this corn moi moi. Like when I'm eating this, I really want to taste that corn, you know, if you understand what I mean. But however, feel free to add any spices to yours. It is totally up to you. So I think the mixture is a bit too thick, so I'm gonna be adding just a quarter cup of water to loosen it up a bit and we will be done with the mixing process. Okay guys, so to scoop in this corn moi moi, I'm going to be using some ramekins and also some plastic containers. Yeah, so this is what I'll be using to scoop in the corn moi moi. So this is what I'll be using, the ramekins and these plastic containers. But however, you can feel free to use anything at all you have to scoop in yours. You can also use banana leaves or uma leaves. So feel free to use any container you have available. So the first thing I'm going to do is to grease the ramekins before scooping in the corn butter or the corn moi moi. Yeah, so I'm going to be using sunflower oil. You can feel free to use vegetable oil or palm oil to grease your containers. Okay guys, so I'm done grazing. At this point, I'll just go ahead and scoop in the corn moi moi into the containers. After filling the ramekins, this is what I've got left. So I'm going to be scooping these ones into the plastic container.
So once I'm done, I'll cover with the lid, transfer them to the pot and I'll pour in some hot boiled water and we're going to be cooking this on the cooker top on a medium heat for at least 25 to 30 minutes. So like I said earlier, we're going to be cooking this on a medium heat for about 25 to 30 minutes and please keep an eye on this and top up water if necessary. So next I'll be covering this one that we're going to be baking in the oven with some foil paper and I'll transfer to the oven before adding some hot water to avoid any accident. So now I'm going to be adding some hot boiled water on the baking tray and we'll bake this on a preheated 200 degrees Celsius oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. So there you go guys, the cooker top or the cooking method is ready after 30 minutes and look at how beautiful and delicious it turned out. Yeah, so I'm just going to set it out from the heat and let it cool down completely. The baking method is out from the oven and just look at how beautiful and delicious they turned out as well. Now you want to let this cool down a bit for like 10 to 12 minutes before digging in because corn moimo is best enjoyed while warm and not when it is piping hot. So please make sure to let this cool down a bit before enjoying. Now just take a look at this goodness right here and tell me you don't want to grab this right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so thank you all so much for watching i hope you give this a try because it tasted so delicious and if you like the video be sure to click the like button subscribe if you are not already and i will see you all in my next